Back to the airport delays. Staff shortages halted flights today at major airports across the Northeast. Delays were reported at New York's LaGuardia, Newark Airport in New, York, New Jersey, and at Philadelphia International Airport. And the news that the shutdown is ending is music to the ears of thousands of government employees caught right in the middle of it. Channel 3's Matthew Campbell is live at Bradley with TSA worker reaction to these developments today. Matthew? Well, Denise and Dennis, you know, when the shutdown was in effect, a lot of the workers here tell us that they felt like they were being held hostage. But here we are 35 days later, they're feeling a little bit more free. But nobody here is jumping for joy just yet because they feel they're not in the clear just yet. Word that the longest government shutdown in U.S. history would come to a close trickled throughout Bradley International this afternoon. President Trump promising these employees who have diligently been coming to work, not knowing when they'd see their next check, would receive back pay as soon as possible. There's, 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 some, there's some happiness there, obviously, just some relief. Adrian Palat is one of the dozens of TSA workers who have kept this airport functioning during the shutdown. He says he and many of his colleagues were tapping into savings or using credit cards to get by. So today's announcement will ease the burden they felt for weeks. But because the deal only lasts through February 15th, he says they're not in the clear. Like, I, I want to believe that, all right, awesome, we can, you know, we can stop worrying, but history tells me different. We spotted Congressman John Larson at Bradley and asked what he would do to ensure these workers won't be forced back on the financial tightrope in a matter of weeks. Or there may be concurrent agreement to do a unanimous consent, which would open government immediately. Either way, it's Congress's responsibility to get back and open up government. So it's a cautious optimism here at Bradley. Coming up at 6, we're going to dig deeper with Congressman Larson and ask him if he felt if today's announcement was a win for Democrats. Dennis, Denise? Matt, a quick question here. We know you've been at Bradley a number of times over the past few weeks. What have you observed there? Well, Denise, you know, this is something that I want to point out. Take a look at this. These are the lines here. Airport officials say we're really not seeing any delays, and workers here have reported daily, while other airports, like you were mentioning earlier, they've been plagued by workers calling out. Now, passengers we spoke with say that really shows the integrity that the Bradley workers have here, and everyone is hopeful that things will get back to normal fairly soon. That's the latest live here at Bradley tonight. Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 News. All right, here are three takeaways, key takeaways from today's developments. President Trump's short-term deal reopens the government through the 15th of next month. That means 800,000 workers who have missed paychecks will receive back pay. The president says that will happen as soon as possible. Among those expecting checks, 1,500 federal employees here in Connecticut who've worked during the 35-day shutdown without getting paid. And we have extended coverage of the shutdown on the Channel 3 app. You can watch the president's entire speech, plus learn more about all of the help available for the impacted federal employees.